Yeah, the Stalag Hell Dwellers. <laughs> now he can just go in the card advantage, win in the late game plan. He goes Harmonize. Wow. Better than Dusk Wasp? Yeah, it's got to be. Like, I don't know. Ten it's seconds. Really, it's it's a good up. sign, though, for, for the next it's, couple of packs. It is a really good sign, but he could possibly pass the Harmonize and expect to get Wood, wood Readers to sort of uh, stall the game oh, and get card advantage the later on. This would be Maybe. 12 cards. Yeah, Wood Readers is a good card for his deck because he can Connect stall with it. Right. He's essentially set up to just dominate the late game. There's a Utopia Vow. Primordial Seal. Sinew Sliver. The red's not very open here. Ten seconds. Seems like Utopia yeah, Vow. He's got to take the Utopia Vow. How good is that card? Boy, we, you know, we talked about that card a lot yesterday, whether or not that was, you know, people thought it was Draft. a bomb pick. Other people thought it was this terrible. Be 11 and cards. we saw... An interesting match between Mori and Saito in the last round. Uh, mm -hmm. Mori used the Utopia Vow on one of his own guys to get color to get it get a color and to fix his mana, and then we saw him use it on one of his Dusk opponent's Wasp. guys. Wow, that's great. How do you get? Who gets fifth pick three three flyer? That's awesome. He used it on one, he used it on one of Mori's guys, Ten and then Mori gave Mori exactly enough mana to kill him with the disintegrate. Him. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to tell you, by the way, Kenji. Obviously made a misstep with picks 2, 3, 4 out oh. of the pack and went Premature Burial, Dark Wind, and Vampiric Sliver. You know, dipped a toe into black when it wasn't there, but wow, did he read this table. Yeah. And you're seeing the payoff right now. That Dusk Wasp is exactly what his deck... I mean, it's just an awesome card. He's getting the a fifth pick. The Aegis of the pick. Library is very interesting. Yeah, it's a two-drop for you. He's got the he's got the harmonize to refill his hand, get back up to seven potentially. You know, if, a, if you know, the dream is that a Wood Reader comes back. Yeah, absolutely. It, Vegas could actually be good in his deck. And that's where he goes. I think you're seeing Ken Kenji get paid off here with some awesome high-quality green they picks. Just pack. deeper this into the draft than he has cards. any right to expect to get cards this good. And it's because he read the table. You know, a lot of people said would have gone, oh, you know what, I'm three cards into black, it's too late. What's this pack got for him? Wild Pear. Wild Pear, Hedge And troll. a Hedge Troll. I guess he doesn't have the white for the Hedge Troll, but Wild Pear is ridiculously powerful. I gotta tell you, I, I, I would look at the Seer here if I was him. Oh, interesting. It's a two-drop. It gets in the land. It, right. It puts, it puts cards in his hand. Can Draw. you pass Wild Pair? Isn't Nailed that card just pack. absurd? That should be eight. I, you know, I haven't played with it in limited. I know it's going to be absurd and constructed. I, it seems great in limited. Collect the pack. I mean, his only problem is that he's all, already got awesome six-drops. I mean, it's really great in limited when you have a Dream Stalker so you can go get your Firemall Copper. Right. And then bounce your Firemall Copper. Ten seconds. Nothing for him in this No. Game. Never got the Mario Boas that he wanted. Like, he got some awesome quality, and I mean, Drops. like I said, he they totally deserves the quality that he's gotten cost. past here. He read the table, he saw really late that Green was Collect underdrafted, and you know, he moved in, he's getting paid off. That's how you do a booster draft. That's what you're supposed to do. Right, and not, and not just stick to a color because, well, I've made these picks, and, you know, at some point you recognize that the cards you're getting are not high-quality cards. Yeah, there was only one, it looks like there was only Battery one Meyer summer. Boa. Drops. In the whole, in the whole draft, in the the whole draft and this it was in the same pack with cards. the wild pair and the hedge troll. <laughs> Collect the pack. Well, what do you think? Grade the draft. How'd it turn out? Uh, I think it's probably a B. Yeah, sort of an A Drops. for effort, but an A for effort, maybe a B, this B minus for card cards. quality. Like yeah. he's got the fire more kabus, but his man is going to be. His curve is a little top heavy. He's going to to make it work. He's not. He doesn't get to play two picks two, three, four from the first pack. You know, the curve didn't. Work. Oh, wow. there's a wood readers. That's, I mean, you can play that on turn three if he Draw. needs to. If he actually Absolutely. gets it, he'll beat down. I, I might be cost. B plus on card quality here. Like, that Next pick pack. helps. Two Firemall Kavus is just ridiculous. I mean, yeah. you, you dream of being in a top eight and getting two, two Firemall Kavus. Lay out the pack. There should be three. Yeah, cards. his only danger is that he gets overwhelmed. But just, I'm worried about his curve. I'm worried about his curve, too. But we were saying earlier, that's not what this format's about. Draw. The format is just slower now. Pack. Like, he doesn't, he, he doesn't have a curve, but... If the format is about control Collect and card advantage, he's got Harmonize. He's got w Wood Drop Readers. He's got... The last card. He just picked up a Seer. I'd be curious to see. That's a card that people have just... Ha I've seen last picked. I know a bunch of people who play that card pretty regularly and think it's terrific. Uh, the nickname the card has in New York is Sin Good. <laughs> um, triggers Madness stuff. It does trigger Madness stuff. It's pretty amazing with the new Arrogant Worm. Yeah, yeah. Not that that's relevant to Kenji's deck, but... There you get a look at it. Hats off to you, Kenji. I think he. I think that was a great draft. I think that was the kind of thing you can go back and study and figure out. Okay, why did this guy make this pick? What was he thinking? How do I know? How do I read the signals the way he did? He got totally paid off in card quality in the last pack. Curve's not ideal, but he did a great job. I'm. 
I'm really impressed with the draft that we just watched.